and welcome back to more Spy Family. I'm here with my reaction to episode 22. And in the last episode, I got quite agitated, didn't I? We met a character called Fiona. And basically, she is now supposed to be on a mission with Lloyd. And that in itself is tricky. However, she believes that she would be a better wife. I think the issue is that she actually wants to be his wife. It's not a game. It's not part of the mission. She believes wholeheartedly that she could whip Anya into shape and be a better wife to Lloyd. And I don't know how I feel about it. Well, I do. I do know how I feel about it. I don't like it. I don't like her. I am team your, and it doesn't matter if you can't cook an egg. It's what is going on in here, okay? And I believe that your is a much nicer person. So regardless, I mean, she has her moments, okay? She, she kind of goes and kills people, but she's just a much nicer person. So screw that girl, and hopefully... Anya, I believe Anya will be the one that causes her to uh, get outed. That's what I think. All right, episode 22, let's go. It hurts my heart. Oh, but this gentler version of you is adorable. I don't know if I can handle it. I love you. That's the thing. So now she's seeing this gentler version of him. And she's jealous because she wants in on it. This is just not right, though. It should be me. I should be the one who awakens this side of you. Your forger? I will take your position and be the wife he deserves. Oh god, it's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. And you know what? See if it does happen, and that's where the story goes. I will... I'll throw a bit. Yeah, I'll do it. Watch me. I don't think it's, like, it's a possibility, but I reckon Anya will step in. It's interesting, though, that they've got a way of communicating that even Anya can't sense what's happening. That's quite scary. His personal gallery includes a painting valued at a million dock, The Lady in the Sun. That's the target for our mission together. A painting? Yes. That is a beautiful painting, though. Like, I would like to have that. Supposedly, he possessed some extremely sensitive top-secret information that was suppressed and hidden for fear it could reignite the flames of war if made public. Known as the Zacharis Dossier. And you know how serious this war is. But you are still so happy to get in on the Strix, you know? It's closely guarded, and Campbell has connections to the state security service. Those that dared to enter without authorization have quickly met their end. Infiltration is quite risky. Oh, this is exciting, though. Are we going to see, like, a full-on infiltration? Because we haven't seen that in a long time. It's all been playing house at the moment. You have ten minutes to place your bets on the next round. So let's get Nightfall. Gamble. Yes, Twilight, what is it? Was this truly the only way to proceed with the mission? I didn't even recognize him! Who am I? Just when they were like, yes, Twilight? <laughs> Those behind the event usually enter their own highly skilled players to compete. But amateurs can also play, with an exorbitant entry fee, of course. This is why they shouldn't be betting on doubles tennis. I don't even like doubles tennis. Like, I live for tennis. But doubles is just so much like starting stopping. Next up, we have the fourth match of our first round with Wayne and Nathalia Phony. Phony, so cool. are you for real? They're not only doubles partners, but husband and oh, wife. The yeah. out there. oh, I bet that makes her super happy that it's husband and wife. Wait a sec. We're facing off against retired champions? Have you played much tennis, Twilight? I've dabbled a tiny bit. And practiced with the family recently. No fair! I want to play tennis too! I wouldn't say that that was probably good experience though. I mean, Anya might be good at it. Let's not put her out just yet. The odds are an amazing 40 to 1.3. Do we 
have any brave souls willing to bet on these lovebirds? I am not gonna bet on Twilight and Fiona. No way. I could be wrong, but unless she's actually been practicing a lot lately. We holed up in the mountains and went through the most punishing training regimen to prepare for this. Well, let's all try to have a good, clean match. Best of luck to you both, <laughs> gentlemen. He's just so nice, isn't he? It's kind of no wonder that she falls for him. Team Phony is first to serve. Come on, Phonies! I want to see what he's got. 15 love. Oh my god, are you for real? What is in that racket? What the hell was that? I've never seen a top ranked player make that kind of serve. I bet I could beat him at Wii Sports though. Take this! In your face! Whoa! He straight up missed it though, how? All I have to do is keep showing him how amazing I am, mercilessly crush the enemy, and get the painting in a flash. You're incredible! Let's play doubles in the game of life, where love means everything! Oh, Twilight! If only that was how men actually worked. Bet it's not, honey. Game, set, and match! The phonies take the win! What an upset, folks! Oh, man, I just lost all my money. I bet against them. They may be pros, but still normal men. My big and beefy Boric brothers will be taken to the court next. The phonies are done. It's interesting, actually, that they've got a female and then they're going up against two guys because that's unusual. Usually it's like a mix on both sides, but. Our first match will feature the bony pair who just wowed us with a miracle upset playing against the bad dogs of Justin, the Boring Brothers! Listen, just because they go to the gym doesn't mean that they have the accuracy to play tennis. I'm not worried. If he's playing in a tennis match with co-workers, does that mean she's there too? What's her relationship with Lloyd anyway? This is horrible. Basically, she did her job. She came in and she's made her having trust issues. Papa is gonna win big time and he's gonna bring home a giant trophy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're right, Anya. Lloyd can do anything he puts his mind to. This is what I'm saying. You don't always have to date someone, marry someone in the same industry. Like, I honestly believe that Lloyd and Yor have this amazing dynamic and she isn't going to take him away. Come on, you meatheads. I got a fortune Bring riding on you. Stand, you hear? <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> oh my God. What the hell? Why would you bet on beefcakes like that? And betting time is just about over. The pony pair pulled out a miracle last round, but can they topple the gargantuan Boric Brothers? We'll find out soon! Come on, Lloyd, kick his ass. He's in his boxer shorts. Ah. Ooh, the older brother, Anon, easily crushed a ball like a grape. Let's take good care of the equipment, please. Yeah, give them a violation for that. We win. You can tell just by looking that the guy's got no brains in his head. Like it's just too hard for Mama Special to pray. <laughs> She's gonna kick his ass, isn't she? She's like, don't you dare talk about my Lloyd like that. Game set and match. Oni's win. Holy cow! Did you see the score? It's six zero for both sets. These upstarts are extremely impressive. You might find yourself in a bit of trouble there, Campbell. Oh yeah? I'm not worried. You should be worried. The aptly named phony pair continued their steady advance through the competitors, eventually making their way into the final round. Against your and Anya. Could you imagine? How is it that Lloyd suits every disguise that he wears? The two don't appear to be that skilled. I'll end this match in no time. And once we win, he'll choose me as his devil's partner in the game of life. That's just not how it works. I 
can't believe you're making your move right now. This is all so sudden, Twilight. I don't know if my heart can take it. Oh. <gasps> take it down a notch. You're tearing up your hands. This is going to be harder than you think. He's not looking at you any more than the mission. At the end of the day, he's your mentor. He doesn't care about you in like a romantic way. How dare you! I love you, 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 I love you. She's staring daggers into me. Does she truly doubt my methods that much? <laughs> Colorless and odorless gas. Non-lethal, most likely. I see now. This is why the Campbell kids' opponents all seemed off their games earlier. Ah, uh, so they're doing it now because of who you're going up against in the final as well. And of course, the door is locked. Yeah, they're messing with you. We should cover up as much as possible and get into those lockers to minimize the effects. Can you make it till the door opens? I'm good for 10 minutes at least. Thank God I didn't just do subtitles just then so I could actually hear what they were saying. It'll be the pony pair versus the Campbell siblings. The ponies are on a roll, but will it be enough to stop the sisters? Team Phony, let's go. I assume you're betting on your children, aren't you, Mr. Campbell? But of course, I've got 10 million on my kids. They're gonna wipe the floor with them. Ouch, 10 million? Well, I suppose when you think that you uh, have the upper hand and you've just managed to use gas on them, you could put however much you want on them. And Phony is first up to serve. <clears throat> what? What exactly is that tennis racket? Are you kidding? <clears throat> yes! No freaking way. That's out. Are you seeing this? A jet powered racket? Talk about cheating. A nice hit from the phony lady. Will Kim be able to reach it in time? Ah, uh, she can't even reach it. Wait. Oh! Can with the bursting whip rocket! Are you kidding me? Could you imagine tennis was like this? Game Campbell! Game Campbell! We're okay with losing though, right? Because that's what's gonna happen. And this is the first step that slipped through the hands of the pony bear! Cheating! I was supposed to play better. Kicking off the second set of the final match, the ponies are desperate for a win this time. This is like when this music kicks in, that's when you know. Come on, Twilight! Smack him in the face! Like, I don't like her, but I don't want Lloyd to lose. And I don't like cheaters. Uh, Love 30. So I say that one hit the ground though. It was out. It looks like the pony pair are getting back into the fleet of things and just in the nick of time. This one's going to go to a third set easy. Will the pony duel be able to sweep the set against the title defenders? What the hell? What the? Napoleon's ball seems to have a mind of its own! Wow. <laughs> Any more tricks up your sleeve? I got you, Twain. Now let's do this. We'll crush them. I oh! Love I love him, I love him, I love him! <laughs> God, what is she like? You're not gonna have him, honey. You work with him. It's a different thing altogether. God, I'm having massive issues with my bloody headphones. Again, here today. They just muted, like about 16 minutes into the show. They just cut off completely. I don't know anyone that has these headphones. 
that has any negative issues with them. They always rave about them. And I'm like, I must have got the worst pair that they've ever made. Ah, oh. I really liked that episode. As a girl who has a little bit of an obsession with tennis, I have a lot of bit of an obsession with tennis, okay? It's not a little bit. I freaking love it. It's my all-time favorite sport. So to have an episode dedicated to tennis, yes, it was good. What is he gonna do now though? And I don't like cheaters either, so I look forward to those two getting what's coming to them. And I look forward to that guy losing 10 mil. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching me watch this show. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.